Look! Look at the majesty! Look at the destruction! Look at Saitama! Seemingly just happy! Just shrug it off! One Punch Man, do you think this is gonna defeat you? Everybody comment down below and vote. Will Saitama live? Or will Saitama die? Keep in mind, this is nearly 12,000 ice arrows. So many ice arrows that our ice arrow god is like hidden, is hiding in all this ice. And now for the moment of truth, will Saitama live or will he die? Activating slow-mo in three, two, one, go. Wait! Have you subscribed yet? Or are you like one of the 25% who have not yet hit the sub button? Seriously, push the red button, subscribe, become part of the 25%. It is your destiny. Arrows move out, Saitama dodges many of them. Ladies and gentlemen, most of the arrows missed One Punch Man. Here is what it looks like from the Ice Archer's perspective. Just a blizzard in there. And Saitama's in here somewhere. Now we venture forth into the snow, into the bright white blindingness. I, I, I can't find him. Like, I'm seriously so confused right now. Where did he go? He was dodging to the left, so I'm going to move that way as well. Wait, wait, what's that? Is that an arm? We found him. There he is. Look at how frozen he is. And yet he's still alive. Let's activate slow-mo some more. He's alive. He's walking forward. Empowered, impaled by all these ice arrows. Slowly but surely, the ice dissipates. And Saitama's, he's alive, but he's, he's frozen solid. He can't move. Guys, you know what this means? This means the ice arch is going to have another shot. And this will probably freeze Saitama, here it comes! This is froze! The shot goes off! Oh my god! Look at how far the ice arrows from the first volley went. That's like a hundred meters! There is no way Saitama is going to survive this one. Here comes the next volley of ice arrows impacting Saitama. He will most likely freeze solid. The arrows have impacted and the game continues. Guys, no, there it is! Blue victory! We have defeated Saitama. It took two volleys of those ice arrows. This is the ice archer god firing a volley and this is the fire archer god also firing a volley here on the rooftops what happens when fire meets ice honestly i'm kind of curious not gonna lie and of these gods who's going to die first is the ice archer god gonna lose or will the fire archer god be struck down first here we go ice meets fire maximum slow-mo activate you can see the ice and the fire getting closer and closer and closer impact pause look at that you can see the fire arrows in amongst the ice arrows now logically if i was looking at this i would say that the fire would melt the ice that's what i think would happen but it looks like they're passing right through each other and going to the opposite side and now the big question who is going to die first is it the fire archer god or the ice archer god man look at that look at the fire arrows on the ground here come the ice arrows going for the fire god and on this side the ice god still enshrouded in snow with the fire arrows coming closer going to zoom out and we're gonna see and guys if i had to guess it looks like the fire arrows might reach the ice god First, I'm gonna pause it right there. I'm gonna pause it right there. Look how close the fire arrows are getting. And if we go through the debris, if we go through the battlefield and we turn around, the ice arrows are not quite as close. I think the ice god is gonna get hit first. Let's watch the ice god get impacted. Maximum slow-mo arrows hitting the ice god. Blue victory. As we go through the battlefield, you can see the fire god is blue. Blue is victorious. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a big problem. Over here, we have a lot of our favorite units. Helga, Benny the Bard, Captain Kyle, King Philip, Larry, Manny the Mammoth, Bjorn, Manny the Minotaur, Kira the Pirate Queen, General Phantom, and Mr. Death himself. And they're now being attacked by a giant wall of fire. But what's causing the wall? I present to you... Through, 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 the, through, the, the through the fire. There he is. Mr. Mario... But God, guys, I made the plumber, but he's God, and he's flying in the sky. It's a Mario throwing fireballs, but in God form. Can our heroes defeat the Mario God? Or will his one fireball turned into thousands of fireballs be enough to destroy our friends? I have a bad feeling about this maximum slow-mo. You can see the fireballs 
impacting the ground as they arc away from Mario. And now, there she goes. Goodbye, Helga. Blood splattering everywhere. Helga, no, your blood's getting on Manny. Benny the Bard has been engulfed. Captain Kyle is about to be next. Oh, there goes Benny. Goodbye, Benny. Right into Minnie the Mammoth. Minnie the Minotaur. That's Minnie. Manny's over here. Larry. No. Larry. No. Manny the Mammoth. His trunk engulfed by the fire. But luckily... Oh, man, he's down. Some of these units cannot be hit by the fireballs because the fireballs cannot reach. Regular slow-mo and look at the devastation. Blue blood flying in every direction and Mario has been confused by the potion of Larry the Potion Seller. Kira the Pirate Queen, Mr. Death himself, Bjorn. Many people are still alive, but guys, things froze, which means another massive volley impacting each and every unit. Guys, there's no way. Nothing can survive. Bjorn! Bjorn survived it! Are you kidding me? Oh, we have lag. Here comes the next volley. E volley just wrecked Bjorn. And, and there it is, guys. Mr. Mario, the god, the plumber king himself, he's far too powerful. Oh, no. They have Granny surrounded. What did these brawlers do? Why are these berserkers here? Are they after Granny's secret recipe? Her delicious gingerbread cookies? But, uh... These guys don't know. I mean, look, why else is Granny floating? Guys, it's Granny and her adorable little monkey. They're gods and they won't like it when Granny gets angry. They're going to get more of this cookie than they bargained for. Look, look what happens when Granny unleashes the cookies. Hi, Jim. Jim the Barbarian, how are you? And your friend, Tim. Are you guys ready for what's about to happen to you? The two of you could have stayed me in, drinking beer, been totally happy. But now, this is what happens to you. <laughs> oh my goodness. There are barbarians and cookies everywhere. <laughs> this is what happens when you anger the granny god. Look at that. And now they're stuck in the gooey goodness. Such devastation. There's cookies everywhere. And, and, and where's Granny in all this? Tim, Jim, you're still alive. Though your feet are stuck in the goo. But don't worry, Granny's not done with you. Oh, another explosion just happened. And there's cookies everywhere, cookies and milk. Are there even any barbarians left? There are, there's some on the outside who did not get squished by all the cookies. In fact, are, is this barbarian alive? Are you, are you, are you alive? You are alive. Guys, there's barbarians alive in amongst the milk. Wow, what, what, what has happened to Granny's house? Oh my goodness, there's milk all over the ocean. Oh, oh no, pause. What's going on? Huge cookie explosion. Barbarians becoming string cheese. I don't know where Tim and Jim are in this pile, but long story short, they, they're probably spaghettified. This is the most powerful god we have ever seen in totally accurate battle simulator. None can defeat the cookie glory. This granny is just too sweet for everybody. Oh no, granny's got another cookie. She's gonna do it again. Oh God, stringy spaghetti barbarians. Like, oh, she's just walking totally nonchalant across her own cookie juice, doesn't even care. Oh my God, she did it. I have finally found the God mod. God has abandoned us, the popular YouTuber mod. Brought to you by yours truly, making units throw billions of projectiles. Finally, with the power of this mod, I can defeat that stupid One Punch Man. Or, well, I better. We'll see. No, oh, man, I can't wait. So I thought I was gonna get wrecked. Which map should I use to destroy One Punch Man? You know what? Let's just start a legacy. I mean, this place gives me all the room I need to cause absolute mayhem. So there's a couple different Saitamas I could use for this experiment, but we're gonna use the pretty much official one. The one created by Grad. This Saitama right here, who's practically immortal. Honestly, he's actually almost too overpowered, not gonna lie. For example, I could take something like a boatload of Artemises, and I'll, I'll, I'll throw some more over here, right? And then I'll throw some over here. And just, just, just for control test, look at that. Look at this man dodge. It's insane. He decimates this army just so quickly. You ever play dodgeball as a kid? I was a dodgeball champion, and there's no way I could be like this. This is insane. Though if we played dodgeball with arrows, that would be a whole different class. So regular gods stand no chance against Saitama. He's far too strong. He's far too powerful. Look at him dodge. Look at that. He's like a jiggly jiggly man. This dude's got some serious side hops. And now he's decimating the last of her Artemis army. What does one Artemis think she's going to do against the One Punch Man? 
Where'd he go? Artemis. Do you see him? Found him. Regular Artemises. They're strong, but we're gonna we're gonna delete them. They're gone now. Goodbye. So instead, we're going to our lovely mod and we're gonna type in ammo. I'm gonna go from one ammo to eleven ammo. Spread. We're not gonna modify the spread. Recoil. We're definitely not modifying the recoil. Attack speed. We'll leave it alone. And now I'm actually gonna take the exact Artemises we just had. And I'm gonna summon a group over here and a group over here and a group over here. Now these Artemises are firing 11 arrows instead of one. And they're in giant chunks of arrows. You can see that Saitama is becoming far more of a pincushion than he was before. As 11 arrows are striking him for every one arrow. And that doesn't matter. He punched one pile, he serious punched the other, and now he's slowly dancing his Wait, to this pile of Artemis's. It's useless, it's pointless. We need to go even bigger numbers. We need even bigger numbers. Let me just go over here and uh, slap down Saitama right there. Perfect, looks great. And let's go to a uh, uh, 50 ammo and uh, uh, one spread. We'll do one spread, zero recoil and regular attack speed. That's, that's great. It's gonna be great. Nothing's gonna go wrong. And this time we're gonna go with regular old um, archers, right? Just just these guys here, regular archers. And I'm gonna summon a beautiful ring of archers. Now this is gonna be fantastic. Each arrow is actually gonna be 50 arrows and the arrows are all gonna fire at once and you'll feel a little bit of lag in the game when it fires. All right, all right, are you ready, Saitama? There's a lag and there's the 50 arrows. Pause, look at that. Each archer fired 50 arrows, and they're all aimed at Saitama's belly, or what was Saitama's belly, now Saitama's doing his side hops thing. Seriously, could you not even give them a chance, Saitama? And the side hop, he dodged every single arrow. I like how they made this really cool ring of arrows, that's actually fantastic. If only they landed on Saitama. Though it seems a few may have caught his hand. That's great, look at that, that's wonderful. And now his consecutive noble punches has decimated that entire army. Or half the army. And then the serious punch destroys the rest. You know what you need, Sama? You need a little bit of control. Yeah, we're gonna take this to the simulation map. Oh, no, no, the arena. Here we are on the arena, and I'm actually gonna change the line. The line is no longer going to be straight. It's actually going to be a ring. And poor One Punch Man shall be placed in the center of the ring. Why would I put you in the middle of an arena, Saitama? Don't worry about it, everything's going to be fine. And now we need to find a way to control Saitama. The harpooners are exactly that control. If we take the harpooners and we just go around just like this. Now he is surrounded 360 degrees by people that want to crowd control him, including the long neck harpooner and the really short harpooner. This is what happens when all the harpooners fire on Saitama and the majority of them miss again in this really beautiful fanning direction. And this is the result I expected from regular everyday harpooners. They're doing a decent job of controlling him, but Saitama's quite strong and he just burrows his way through all these minions. But what if we took the harpooners and we turned them into gods? Yeah, that serious plunge is a little bit ridiculous. We need to go to an even more Bruh. open map. Look at all the room to play. Now we're talking. Let's grab one bunch man, slap him down in the middle, and uh, no, no, not harpooners. One bunch man. Oh, Saitama, look at the size of this map. There's so much room for activities here. And let's actually test the maximum range of the harpooners. We are going to control Saitama. Now, these harpooners, as you can see, are really far away. The question is, at this distance, at this range, can they reach one punch man? Let's find out. Okay, good. At this distance, they all open fire and they all hit Saitama, but we know how this is gonna end. They didn't do a job. They didn't do a good job. They're actually harpooning each other, flicking each other across the room. One Punch Man is still unfair. Now what I wanna do is I wanna take the ring and increase it a little bit bigger. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four bigger? Harpoon is around. There we go. Now we're doing the size test because the bigger the ring, the more harpooners we can fit in it. Can they all reach? They can all reach. We must go bigger. We are at over a hundred harpooners now. Can they still reach Saitama at this range? They can. Oh my goodness, more than a hundred harpooners. I think a hundred is a perfectly good number, guys. Can a hundred regular harpooners control Saitama? He's there. He's standing in the middle. He's doing his dodges. Oh no, the harpooners are dragging each other in because they're missing each other with the harpoons and Saitama breaks free. 100 normal harpooners are not enough to stop One Punch Man. We have to upgrade the harpooners. Let's start with a harpooner that fires instead of one harpoon, 10 harpoons. Zero spread, zero recoil, 
one attack speed. Select our harpooners and then place them around One Punch Man. 101 harpooners, just like the 101 Dalmatians. And they open fire and look, look at the sheer number of harpoons, 10 harpoons per shot. Boom, look right there. That's 10 harpoons and that's 10 harpoons and that's 10 harpoons and that's 10 harpoons. And he has been skewered with easily 100 harpoons. Is this enough to control? Saitama, here we go. Slow-mo, full speed. He's there, he's not moving. The harpooners are missing. He's dodging all the shots and the dodging is causing the harpooners to drag each other to each other, to, to, yeah, drag each other to each other. Sure, why not, that's English. Saitama is still in the middle of the map. He's starting to resist. He's made it to the outer ring and now we have disaster. You guys ever been to your grandma's house where she's got like the sewing set and then she's got this little like pin cushion thing where all the pins are stabbed into. That's Saitama right now. Though I doubt grandma has this many pins. And oh, Saitama, your eyes. What's wrong with your eyes? This is quite the moment, I gotta say. Yeah, One Punch Man is about to destroy every single one of these gods. I don't think 10 is enough. I think they need to fire closer to 50 this next time. Let's give it a shot. And we're gonna delete this ring of gods. Goodbye, gods. And this time we're gonna upgrade it to 50 shots with a zero spread, a zero recurl, and a one attack speed. For those of you wondering what the spread looks like, I'll show you later. And now we're gonna summon 100 of these gods. Hopefully they don't ruin my computer considering they're each firing 50 projectiles. This could be a bad idea. 101 Dalmatians, 101 Harpooners firing 50 shots. You've got um hourglass figure Harpooner. Now my new favorite, this guy's waist is tight. And then you got a big brother, Harpooner. Just, just everyone's big brother, he's just so huge. Oh, and you've got little brother, Harpooner. Hey, Hobbit boy. And this Harpooner, this one right here, he has seen some things. His are the eyes of terror. Harpooners, 101 of them, 50 shots a piece. Oh no, 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 no. I activated it and the slow-mo kicked in. Pause, oh please, oh please. I'm scared to let these impact. Here we go. Slow-mo, the impact hitting Saitama. Look at the ring of harpoons around him. Are you kidding me? Oh no, some of the harpoons are missing and they're gonna hit harpooners. I think the distance makes the accuracy a bit of a problem. Full speed, Saitama is looking particularly pin cushiony now. Regular slow-mo and Saitama is still in the middle of the arena, but now the harpoon shots are going in every direction and the harpooners are more likely to hit each other than Saitama. Now, One Punch Man is unable to close the gap, so he uses a serious punch to clear away one quarter of the harpooners. Uh, not gonna lie, I think 50 harpoons per harpooner might have been a mistake. Let's be real, Saitama. I think this whole mod has been a mistake. Ugh, it's like he's being sacrificed to a sacrificial god or something. Let's resume full speed. Oh my god, Saitama, where are you going, buddy? Slow down. I'm gonna do a bird's eye view. We're gonna let this go full speed. And I wanna see if Saitama can actually get close to anyone or the harpoons can do a decent job holding him. No, he has attacked the harpooners. 50 was not enough. Guys, I have a new idea. I have a new idea, it's a great idea. Nothing could ever, 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 ever go wrong. I think our problem is the sheer number of harpooners. They're too far away and they're missing their shots. And now we're gonna shrink the harpoon ring down at this range. How could you miss your shot? We're gonna keep it at the 50 for now. And I'm gonna do a one spread. I wanna see if the spread helps to hit. Zero recoil, one attack speed. And then we're gonna place the smaller number of harpooners. This is about half as many at 58 harpooners. Oh, now big brother and little brother harpooner are side by side. Look at that, that's cute. And uh, this harpooner needs a sandwich. Was this the right idea? Let's see what happens. Slow-mo activated, waiting for the moment. Everything gets fired. Here come the harpoons. You can actually see that one degree spread as the harpoons start to like split apart a little bit, making a tiny like shotgun shell of harpoons. And in maximum slow-mo, you can see them missing the target. Saitama doing his crazy dodging ability, but getting hit in the ribs multiple times by hundreds of harpoons. Which means the harpoons are now going in every direction. And I'd never realized this, the harpoons are way too close! What have I done? 
Yep, that's a problem. That's a problem. The harpoons are so close to each other that the harpoons just keep on going, skewer each other, and bring them close enough for One Punch Man to do his one punching. I regret everything. I am filled with nothing but regret. I mean, Saitama clearly has been impacted multiple times by the harpoons. He looks great. He's a pincush. It's fantastic. But so has the rest of the battlefield. Okay, we're going to do stupid. We're going to do a stupid. I I, I regret this. This is gonna this is gonna be fine. I hope this is gonna be fine. Take the circle, expand it. One hundred. Spread five. Recoil none. Attack speed five. This, this, this is bad. This is bad. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm definitely scared. 90 harpooners. Spread five. Attack speed five. These guys are going to be vicious. Saitama, I hope you are ready. Waiting for the moment. The harpooners open fire, waiting patiently. There it is. There it is. The lag is hit. We're waiting for the harpoons to attack One Punch Man and hopefully not break my game. There they go, there they go, there they go. The spread of five. Pause. What have I created? And Saitama, how are you gonna dodge this one, bud? Let's watch this one in slow. Whoa, <laughs> he's gone, he's, he's, he disappeared. He's in there somewhere. Hello, Saitama, where are you? Um, you may not believe it, but there is a One Punch Man hiding deep under those pin cushions somewhere. How skewered is he going to be? I think we're about to find out right now. Slow mode, activate. Skewers impact the cameraman. Go through the cameraman, and left behind is a One Punch Man. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna look at this, guys. He seems to be quite impacted. I don't think he can move. It's almost a giant dinner plate of harpoon wires. Giving the harpooners a five. Oh no. Oh no, we attacked the harpooners. The harpooners attacked each other and now they're being dragged into Saitama. If there was a way to make the harpooners immune to their own harpoons, this would be foolproof. We are at full speed and Saitama is just a punching. There's, look, 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 what is going on? There's so many harpoons. I can't tell what's happening, guys. What have we done to totally accurate battle simulator? We have broken everything. <laughs> Pause the game. I have created a battlefield that denies all physics and ruins all space and time. Saitama's in there somewhere. And this is where we're ending today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, comment down below and let me know. Ah, yes, we're back in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And I think we need to browse the workshop because somewhere in here is a god that can maybe kill One Punch Man. I so badly want to kill him, you have no idea. Let's do a search type in the word god. And these are the units I'm looking at. How about we sort them by most subscribers in the past month? Okay, there's a lot of Godzillas. Though this god of deaths seems promising. I mean, this unit's just called god. Maybe he's good. Oh, this one's called God Goku. Goku can do it. Let's go. Here we have a uh, God of Light. Sure, why not? He's called God Mode. Maybe he's awesome. Clicky. God of the Katana. Just simply God, and he's building pistols. How is that going to kill Saitama? Oh, now we're talking. That's what I think about when I think of a God. God of Monkeys? Y you know what? Sure, sure. This one's called God Killer 2.0. Oh, oh, you have my attention. How about God Man? God Almighty, he shall vanquish Saitama and this cool looking god of death. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's put all these gods in a brand new faction. And now we just have to kill Saitama. Right? How hard could it be? Here he is, guys. The wonderful, the powerful Saitama. And Saitama's first opponent will be this guy, the God of Light. He looks like Raiden with, like, butterfly wings. Please tell me you know who Raiden is, please. Let's start this fight. I'm gonna go right up here to Saitama because I want to see what he's going to do. Three, two, three. One, go! The fight begins. The god, the god of light didn't even survive one single normal punch. Just an absolutely embarrassing outcome. Well, Saitama, I brought you to the pirate faction, hoping the sand gets in your shoes and slows you down. And this unit is just called God. I do not like the haircut. It does not give me much confidence. And muskets against Saitama? I don't know, dude. Let's see what God can do against Saitama, he's keeping his distance, summoning what looks like a rocket storm. 
down. Saitama got serious with a super serious punch, and this god went full reaper explosion. Yeah, that did not go according to plan, guys. Now, Saitama, I bring you to the world of the Monkey King. It's a truly beautiful land. And there against you is someone called the God Killer? Though why the God Killer wants to use machine guns, I have no idea. Maybe the sunglasses give him super extra power. Saitama versus the God Killer. Look at the lightning, the wizard spells coming out of the God Killer's guns. Could these be powerful enough to kill Saitama? Also, why the machine gun still ejects bullets when it's firing lightning i have no idea maximum slow mo the lightning is impacting directly into the chest of one punch man but he doesn't seem to be affected we move to regular slow mo and he's kind of shaking it off and our god killer is backing up oh that's ice breath because you know ice breath will freeze saitama right one punch man shakes off the lightning blast completely ignoring them and it proceeds to punch the god killer oh look at the blood he punched out all of his blood oh saitama you're too strong today we bring saitama to the wild wild west and he is versus a beautiful looking god i love the golden scythe i love the helmet lightning bolt and scythe is that enough to kill saitama the fight commences lightning is being thrown saitama using furious side hops oh saitama's head is gone saitama's head is gone and yet that's still not enough to actually defeat saitama who got too close to our god and destroyed him one punch man can lose his head and still win now we are in the renaissance faction here for Mr. Da Vinci himself. And Saitama's opponent is this crazy looking god. I mean, look, look, look at the wispy tendrils. He looks so powerful. There's no way he's gonna lose, right? The fight begins. Slow mode is activated. Saitama is walking forward. Sword being thrown. Saitama dodges it. Another sword impacting right into the stomach of One Punch Man, but he doesn't seem to care. And One Punch Man gets close uses consecutive normal punches and defeats this god. Apparently the gods that people are creating in the workshop aren't that powerful so far. There has to be one god, any god, that is powerful enough to defeat him. So here in the legacy realm, I have chosen this godlike creature. Can he beat Saitama? Let's find out. Slow motion. We're using a time stop ability from God. Can he actually stop time on one punch? Man, nope, Saitama. Saitama literally ignored time. He's more powerful than time. Consecutive normal punches. God gets wrecked. All is right in the world. One Punch Man versus God of the Katana. Maybe this Japanese God can do the job. Though I gotta say, he looks really, really good. Saitama, we have Fire Breath coming from the God of the Katana. You think One Punch Man cares about a little bit of fire? I don't think so. The Fire Breath has ceased. Red Vic... What? What? Honestly, why did he die? One Punch Man hasn't even thrown a punch. Did you just give up? Did the god of the katana just perform seppuku? Finally, a moment I have been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. This is the god of monkeys! Holding on to two giant pieces of broccoli. He is a banana man with a monkey face and he's huge! Saitama, you might finally lose this day. The fight commences. Monkey Man uses a fire breath weapon. The dark hands of god grasp Saitama and they throw him back. They're keeping him under control. Maybe these dark peasant hands can do the job of defeating One Punch Man. No, the super serious punch just killed the monkey god. Somebody please make a more powerful god, please. Here we have the god of death. And what is happening? What is floating above his head? This is the first god we downloaded complete with the blades from that modded unit by Grad. Can this god, with his crazy floating abilities, defeat Saitama? The fight starts, slow mode is activated, consecutive, normal punch it. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. The god is clearly dead, but why does the fight continue? Is there a, a floating? Yo, what is this ability? What is going on? What is this ability? Is this a modded ability in the workshop? Look at the blue and black blades going into Saitama. I've never seen this ability before. The fight continues. Saitama is dodging the attacks 
and now there there are insane abilities going on. Whoa, whoa, the god just yeeted himself off the map. Goodbye, god, red victory. Those were modded abilities, and even modded god abilities is no match for One Punch Man. Welcome to the world of Egypt. Saitama is here against God. Um, Goku is so strong, he is hulking out of his clothes. Can God Goku defeat Saitama? Fight commences. Goku with the multiple, multiple laser blasts. Ah, Kamehameha of two, and Saitama is completely ignoring it. He's just advancing at regular walking speed. So right now, Goku's too far away to use contextual punches, but not far enough away to use serious punch. We're on a really weird up. Oh, never mind. Sandstill is over. Consecutive normal punches punches out all of Goku's blood. This god is called God Mode. He looks simple. He looks weak. And I'm hoping that he's more than meets the eye. All right, God Mode, let's see what you've got. Please tell me you're going to throw crazy amounts of shur shur shurikens. There we go. Multiple fire. Nope. Hold on. Is that Saitama's blood? Did you make Saitama bleed his own blood? Say hello to the god of death. What an absolutely gorgeous specimen. But I get the feeling he's not going to beat Saitama because nothing has so far. Dark hands of god. Grabbing one punch man. Lifting him into the sky. You've got a solar maelstrom on the ground. But as soon as you get too close, the punches happen. Ah, oh, this is the final fight. It is Saitama versus every single god from today's video. He has defeated them one-on-one. -on -one. Can you defeat them as a team? I hope you are ready for this one, Punch Man. Let's start the fight. Slow mo, and Saitama has already killed one of the gods. The dark peasant hands are lifting One Punch Man into the sky, causing great amount of crowd control. But Saitama is in that mass of people, and there's a <laughs> serious punch just happened. What is going on? Where is One Punch Man in this pile? Oh, I found him. I found Saitama, and he doesn't have a head again, but he still might win. Multiple gods have already been defeated and Saitama continues to slam down to the ground because of the Dark Peasant Hand units. It seems like our Monkey God is one of the last ones to live, as well as our God of Death over here. He just kinda chillin', dragging his swords around. It seems to me that the Dark Peasant Hands are continually slamming Saitama into the ground over and over and over. Hold on, the Monkey God doesn't have a leg and a torso. What is going on? I was like that there's like three dead Monkey Kings around everywhere. It's just hilarious. Has has anyone seen One Punch Man? S S Saitama? Hello? Where'd you go? I have a funny feeling that the God shoved Saitama into another dimension through the ground. So what I'm done is I'm going to do some stupid goofy things. So for example, this is Saitama. Okay, he's just kind of chilling there. Everyone loves One Punch Man. And over here, I'm going to have these guys fire at Saitama. But you may be looking at them going, crow, those are just dynasty archers. They're going to shoot fireworks. Whatever. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're not done. We're not done. Wait and see what happens. Ready? Start the fight. Watch this. Watch the goofiness. I need goofiness because I've been working so hard on my video. <laughs> I need a break. I just want to, yes, fire the giant. Fi he dodged all the giant firework arrows. Dude, these people shot massive firework arrows at you because they, they wanted to give you a gift, a gift of firework arrows, but you can't even be decent enough to take the firework arrows in the chest. Oh, there's one. Oh, 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 there's some more. And it's kind of working. Was it working? Was it actually moving Saitama? I'm kind of confused. Ugh, he just keeps serious sidestepping all of these units. No! My dynasty archers are coming down. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Now I've got a big question. Okay, now i got a big question. I, I need to go over here. I need to turn on the debug tools. So if I have giant firework arrows active, and I find firework arrows. Do I also fire giant firework arrows? Shoot! Oh, I do. Oh, Saitama, what are you gonna do? You gonna, you gonna dodge all of these? Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. You're not gonna dodge all these firework arrows. Many of them are gonna impact you, and we're gonna see what happens when you get smacked by giant. Oh, come on, your butt. I'm gonna put them all in your butt. Can anyone tell that I'm exhausted? I've been working so hard on this video for tomorrow, that I'm just absolutely exhausted. And all of these firework arrows can't move Saitama. It's actually a little bit disgusting. If I switch to Super Beam, if I switch to Super Beam and I just, I'm gonna continue to shove 
giant firework arrows into the abdomen of Saitama, and I'm gonna do everything I can to send him flying off into space. This guy just doesn't care. He doesn't care about the firework arrows. They just, he just completely ignores them. That's ridiculous. He wipes out the army. All right, all right, firework arrows, guys. That didn't work. This is just more stupidity, okay? Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get pillar mammoths. Yep, it's time for pillar mammoths. And I'm gonna go over here. And Satama's gonna fight the most ridiculous pile of mammoths you maybe have ever seen. We'll do like 80 mammoths on a certain pause. And look at all the amazing mammoths. It's raining mammoths all around Saitama. It's not something you ever expected to see, did you? Oh no. No, you didn't. You didn't expect Saitama to get rained on by a bunch of mammoths. <laughs> I know Saitama's in there. There he is. I see him. I see him. I see him. There he goes. He's having a good time. And he's um fighting his way through what conceivably is a giant pile of mammoths. But you know, I, I, I kind of want to deal with the mammoths myself. I turned off God Powers. We're going to turn them back on. I, I, I got a... I got... Oh, oh, I broke it. I got an idea. I got an idea for my, my mammoth friend. So I'm the mammoths. Come on down. Everyone just fall. Fall, 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 fall. I've got big plans for the mammoth pile. You see the pumpkins? That's the plan. Still raining mammoths. I'm gonna try and worm my way. No, I'm not gonna worm my way. We're gonna restart the fight and then I'm gonna get myself in there underneath all the mammoths. Like, excuse me, I'm just gonna come right down here and it is gonna rain glorious mammoths all over. Send me, send me in there. Send me, come on, into the pile of mammoths, please. I, I think I'm inside the mammoths. Okay, stop. This is where things get interesting. Um. The only problem with my theory is I don't know how to escape. Because right now you're looking at me and I'm like trying to maneuver my way out of the mammoths. I can't even see where I'm going. I'm, I think I'm making it out of the mammoth. Where am I? I did it! I made it out of the mammoths! Okay, uh, I want to go back in there. I want to summon even more pumpkins. I just, just want, I just want to make a big old pumpkin explosion. It's like, ugh, I'm inside a cavity of mammoths. Give me more pumpkins. I mean, right now, you're probably thinking to yourself, Crow, I can't see anything. All I can see are pumpkins. I know. Just wait. Bear with me, okay? Stick with my insanity. I'm probably gonna break... Uh, just must make way out. Mess. Probably gonna break everything. Maximum slow-mo. Three, two, one, go. I hit the G key. Maximum slow-mo is activating. Here come the pumpkins. Regular slow-mo! <laughs> yes! That is exactly what I wanted to see. <laughs> Pumpkins just all the mammoths fly. <laughs> oh, it's all good. I want to do it again. I want to do it again. So I'm just going to go right around here. I'm going to go right out of here. Yeah, I'm, I'm inside of a mammoth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look at this. Look at me. Just kind of chilling under the mammoths. Okay, I'm just going to summon pumpkins while I back up. While I back up. And eventually make my way out of the mammoths. Hit it. Oh, so good. <laughs> this game ridiculous, man. Okay, we're not going to do the ma pillar mammoths. What we are going to do is make units tiny. I mean, I haven't really fought with a bunch of tiny units before, so I'm gonna put tiny you, and then I'm gonna start grabbing a whole bunch of tiny units. Also, disregard these, these here. Don't, don't worry about those. Part of my secret, part of my secret video for tomorrow. I put a lot of work. Oh, a little baby dragon! And a little baby Ares, and some little ice giants, and a little Hades, and some. I, I said tree giant. I want a tree. Little tree giants. Oh, they're so tiny. You know what that means now? We need little halflings. Even littler halflings. <laughs> they're so tiny. The halflings are barely even higher than the blades of grass. This is what I'm talking about. There is Hades himself. And his abilities, the dragon is frozen solid, the ice breath of the mini ice giants with Saitama's like, I don't even care. I'm coming in and I'm wrecking all of you guys. I may be the last unit standing from sending Ares flying, who is still alive. I'm gonna become Ares. Uh, hi, I'm One Punch Man. I'm One Punch Man firing bullets! You ever notice One Punch Man actually fire bullets? It's kind of insane. Who's the last unit? Alive. I don't even know. Here, let, let Saitama figure it out. Saitama, what if Saitama fires a Mjolnir? Ah, ha, 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 fire Mjolnir! Ah, ha, ha. Why can I kill this, this 
stupid servers. I'll punch it. I'll punch it for forever. And we did it. We killed the server. Oh, my brain, guys. I've been working so hard. This video is going to be so good tomorrow. But I had, I need to just like sit down and break stuff. So we're going to turn off um, tiny units. I'm going to turn on make balloons metal. This is probably going to be a mistake. Give me Saitama. Put him over here. Okay. And then over on the other side, we're going to go over here. We're going to grab the uh, not Dynasty Renaissance. And we're going to grab a bunch of balloon archers. I want to see the balloon archers. Fire metal balloons. They don't hit. They don't hit. Good job, balloon archers. Balloon arrows. Allow me, Saitama, to say hello with balloon arrows. Instead of balloons, they're just going to spawn. Oh, yeah. Look at, that. Look at that. Just get him with all the metal balloons. What? He just leapt across the screen even with metal balloons on his chest. Is that some kind of sick, disgusting joke? Look at him go! Look at him go! I'm covering him with balloons and he's still just doing the most ridiculous things. Hold on. I am not done with you. Oh, still. I just must put more balloons in it. Sorry. Guys, he's covered in balloons. And the balloons are made of metal. And he doesn't care. He will continue to yeet around the map. We're having some fun with black holes and new units. So, for example, this here is the chicken man from the most recent mod. He summons chickens. And he's fantastic. As well as the, uh, the devout faction. The good faction. And I have a simple question. Can they survive black holes? So over here, we've got three hobbits. Three black hole creation machines. And then down here, hiding, are these guys. These blue bars so that when the hobbits die and explode into black holes the game doesn't immediately end will the red team survive the black holes in three two one go the game begins the red team is working their way to the hob oh god no they're going they're going for the bars they're going for the bars no this is not good the chickens they're coming for the bars guys this is going to destroy my strategy this is going to destroy my plan the bars i need to have my god hand powers hold on let's try this again i uh, just gonna go into the settings over here and uh turn on my god hand thank you very much let's try this again but this time i'm gonna grab onto this lovely blue bard start the fight get the blue bard bring the blue bard over here now I'm holding on to the blue bar. These red units, including the chicken man, throwing his chickens, are going to come down here and try to fight these blue bards. But eventually, the blue bards will be defeated. And eventually, I need to lure the red people up here. So I'm going to take my blue bard, Benny. I love Benny. You guys know that. And I put Benny on the ground right here. Eventually, the red units will begin to be sucked up into the black hole and we've done it as you can see every single one of these red units have been destroyed by the black hole including our lovely elephant and including the chicken is the chicken man in here hello chicken man Ch chicken man are you in here hold on if i do this can i like get into the center of the black hole and eventually we'll find our lovely friends hello is there a chicken man in here somewhere does anyone see any units all i see is blackness <laughs> all i see is disgusting blackness we're never gonna find the units regardless the chicken man and the devout good units they died in the black hole on to the next test now we have another new unit the uh, the warlord the dude on the bear with the spinning axis as well as the entire evil faction including this void monarch are any of them going to be able to survive the black hole even though the uh the super teleporting ninja dude is already trying to gank the halflings but don't worry that's why there's three halflings there's no way he's going to kill them all so i'm gonna go over here grab my uh my god head grab benny and his band of bards and we'll take benny and we will grab him and time will stop halflings have turned into oh god oh god Oh god, they're gonna really want to No, 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 no. My, this Benny is- No! No! Oh, it just teleported to Benny in the sky. Oh, that did not go according to plan. All right, all right, all right, all right. This time, we grab Benny. Benny. And we go really high into the sky. Come on. No, no. Oh my god. I think I have a dead Benny in my hands. I'm pretty sure that's a Benny corpse. Yeah, Benny's not looking so good. Guys, how are we gonna get them in a tra trapped in a black hole if the Void Monarch is just gonna teleport- and kill and it just killed the penny in my hand and then there's another penny that penny's dead oh we have bad 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 problem 
Bad, 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 bad problem. Okay, I'm gonna make a lot of bards. These are called Benny fodder, okay? And they're gonna distract the, 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 the guys. They're gonna distract them. And I'm gonna take one Benny, the best Benny, the most special Benny, and I'm gonna take him away, okay? There you go. Now there's lots and lots of Bennies for the bad guys to jump onto while the black holes begin to expand. You can see the black holes over there by the red team. I don't wanna get close or else, oh my God, he transformed into the demon. The black holes are growing. The black holes are growing. One of the units have been dragged in. Um, the, the bear with the spinny axes looks like he's about to fall off the map. It's okay. Come on, black holes. Yes. Grab onto the void marks. Grab onto the bear. Just drag the bear. Oh, oh, that void monarch is chasing the bennies. Yes. Yes. They're going into it. It's happening. Oh, no, no, no. Don't look at this benny. No, Mr. Mr. Void Monarch. Stay away from this benny. This is my benny. I will protect my benny. Please stay away. Please. Please, get sucked in, get sucked in, get sucked in. He's, he's resisting the effects of the gravity. He fell off the map. <laughs> okay, I don't know if he's going to die to the uh, to the black hole. He seemed to ignore it. But our lovely bear, he got totally sucked in to the darkness. Now it's time for the Trojan chickens. They're going to break apart and explode into the black holes. And it is going to be glorious. See, because they can't damage the hobbits. And now the hobbits have turned into black holes. The Trojan chickens moving in on the Benny the Bards. But the black holes begin to grow in the distance. Five black holes that are just hungry for Trojan chickens who are trying to kill the Bards. But not having a whole lot of luck. Don't, don't, don't go. Don't get pushed over the edge. Oh, oh, there it is. The gravity is too strong. The Trojan chickens have been dragged into the black holes. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> These poor Trojan chickens have been absolutely destroyed. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, this is amazing. Now it is time for Hades. Look at this evil god. Maybe the god can survive the black hole. There's our black hole hobbits. Let's go over here. We will grab onto Benny the Bard and we will drag Benny into the sky. Hades, right there. Approaching the black hole hobbits. Going around, going after the Bennies. There's the black holes. Oh, oh, Hades is already dragged into it. Look what's happening to Hades. He's, oh, he summoned a Cerberus? Hades can summon a Cerberus. I did not know that. That is insane. That is so cool. Well, there's, there's balls. There's, there's ghost balls. Doing stuff. The Cerberus seems to be ignoring the black holes. Nope. 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 He's trying. What is happening? I don't know what this Cerberus is doing. Is he immune to the black hole, guys? We may have found something that is immune to the black holes. There's three of them trying to drag the Cerberus in, but Cerberus don't care. Oh, oh. Oh, no, he's kind of flopping sideways. He's kind of flopping sideways. Is he going to be pulled into the black hole? It's so close. It's expanded that far. It has enveloped the Cerberus. It has enveloped the entire island. And this poor Benny the Bard. Guys, Cerberus lives. Cerberus don't care. So Hades does not care here. Um, Sacrificial Benny the Bard. Come over here to the Cerberus. And um, Red Victory. I think the effects of gravity killed Benny the Bard. Cerberus, he didn't care. Hades wins. Now it is time for the Dread King. And did you know the Dread King makes it snow? I didn't know that. But over here, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to grab our Benny the Bard. And we're just going to start the black holes on the Dread King, who is destroying these Bennies. Okay, I got to bring this Benny into the sky. I have a bad feeling the Dread King don't care about this. And it's going to find a way to kill Benny the Bard here in the sky. There's some ice effects. Oh, oh, the Dread King, guys. He's beginning to be pulled in by the black holes. Will they kill him or will the Dread King with his ice survive? Guys, there it is. There it is. Okay, the Dread King did not survive. So far, Hades is the only one to live through three black holes. Let's move on. We're getting closer and closer to One Punch Man, but first we have the Ignis Slasher. This guy is probably one of the cooler units we've ever seen. We're gonna come over here, grab our Benny, and see if the Ignis Slasher can survive the black holes. He has executed one of the hobbits. Uh oh, he has a range attack. This is bad. I'm dragging Benny way, 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 way. What's the range on that range attack? Black holes. 
Oh, Ignis Slasher is being dragged into the black holes. I gotta keep Benny here. Ignis Slasher's inside black hole. Ignis Slasher dies in the black hole, keeping Benny high up into the sky away from the opponent was everything we needed to do. The Ignis Slasher was not good enough or powerful enough to survive nature. Now we have new and improved Thor, and Thor is a god. He's a, he's a wonderful god, and is this new and improved Thor gonna be able to survive the three black holes? You know the drill. Come over, grab the Benny, and activate the black holes oh one of the black holes got sent flying guys there's only one black hole oh no he just threw mjolnir at all those bennies oh but he's stuck he is stuck in the black hole and yes the black hole was even capable of defeating thor but you know who the final unit in our testing is guys the time has come our god one punch man hence the reason we are in this godly realm i have summoned seven hobbits because I have a bad feeling he's going to kill a few before they turn into black holes. And at the rear, our Benny army. I will take one Benny. And we will see if One Punch Man can survive the black hole. Benny is removed. One Punch Man is doing things. Lots of damage. But there are black holes. You look at that punch! Oh, no, no, no. Please, Benny. Stay away from One Punch Man. One Punch Man, he's stuck in a black hole. He's currently in the black hole. You can see him. The black hole's enveloping him. I'm just gonna say right here, guys. We are safe. Oh, that's a big punch from One Punch Man. Who continues to survive five black holes. Guys, One Punch Man cannot die to one black hole. One Punch Man cannot die to two black holes. One Punch Man, Saitama, is surviving five black holes that continue to grow, to expand, to envelop the entirety of totally accurate battle simulator heaven. And he is in there and he doesn't care. Poor Benny the Bard is starting to twitch. The gravity of the black holes beginning to drag him into their black depths. And still, Saitama survives. Okay, Benny, I'm just gonna drop you. Okay, stay there. If you get too close to the black holes, you're gonna die. I wanna go and investigate lovely Saitama. I wanna see how he looks. Saitama doesn't care. Look at him. He's just chilling. He's just chilling like a villain in a pose. He's like, yeah, I'm Saitama. He doesn't care. And now Benny the Bard is gonna fall to his death. Saitama stuck in the gravity wells. Doesn't care. Goes for the serious punch. I'm poor Benny the Bard. Ladies and gentlemen, only two units could survive the black hole.